Okay, so we're going to do some more probability, some kind of, uh, not random questions, but this one's going to deal with Venn diagrams, and they're just kind of different kinds of probability questions that you might come across. So take a moment, read this problem, of course, and get a sense of what's going on. And so you should be able to see that there are basically three scenarios going on here. And so we're going to draw a Venn diagram of those three scenarios. And what I have is I have, I have my Coke, my Fanta, and my Sprite. And in total, I have 43 people that I've surveyed, whether they drink those drinks. And when we solve these problems, we always want to start from the middle and work our way out as much as possible. And so the first thing I see is three people drank all of them. So that's three here. And four did not drink any of them. So that's four outside here. And so I'm dealing with on the outside, if people who drink soda will be 39 in total. Okay, so now 19 drank Coke, so that's in here. 19 drank Coke, 21 Sprite, 17 Fanta. One person drank Coke and Fanta. So now I'm starting from the out and working out. So one drank Coke and Fanta goes here, but not Sprite. Find the probability that a person selected at random from the group drank only Sprite. Well, I'm looking for only Sprite. Oh, forgot Sprite. Only Sprite, which only Sprite, which is going to be some number of this scenario here that we're going to look for, and I'll call that S. It's going to be S over the total of 43 is the probability. So I need to find S. Well, in order to do it, I have to figure some things out, and I do not have a lot of information here, so I have to start to build it. I've not used these bits here because they're talking about the whole circles. And so I'll call people who just drink Coke, only Coke, nothing else, a C, only Fanta, nothing else, F, and only Sprite, nothing else, C. And then these values here must be something else, X and Y, I'll call them. And so now it's a, I know, looking at this information, C plus X plus 3 plus 1 has to be 19. So I'm going to make a bunch of equations here and see what I get from there. So I know that C plus 1 plus 3 plus X is 19. Similarly, I'll do the same with the other two scenarios. So I know that S plus one, uh, X plus Y plus 3 is equal to 21. And then the Fanta has 17. And that's going to be F plus 1 plus 3 plus Y. That there is in the scenario here. So let's simplify these. I get C plus X equals uh, 15. This one I get S plus X plus Y is equal to 18. And here I can get that F plus Y is equal to 13. And so now I have a whole bunch of variables here. And there's one more piece of information that I've not used. And that's this 43, which is really 39 because I've already taken away the 4. If I add them all together, it gets 39. So what I can say is that C plus X plus F plus Y plus S plus 1 plus 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All of those add up to 39. Simplifying them, I get, mm, I get C plus X plus F plus Y plus S is equal to, subtract those over, and I end up with 35. So I have to remember this question. I'm looking to try and find what S is here. And so in order to find it, what I recognize is that C plus X is here. I can also see F plus Y is here. So if I do a substitution for all of those, I end up with 15 plus 13 
plus s is 35, which then says s is equal to 7. And so to answer the probability question that's there, that's going to be 7 divided by 43. So that is my final answer in this specific case. And when I do these uh, big Venn diagrams, I always start from the middle and work my way out as best as I can.